Guys, I just made an awesome discovery. Is it a scientific discovery? Maybe, sorta. I discovered this movie flyer in my back pocket. Attack of the Mutant Hamster. I've seen it five times, and it starts in ten minutes. Kent, you're a member of the secret lab, and we're here looking for something of true scientific interest. Well, you're only saying we should look for everyday uses for science. Yes, because Mr. Edison always tells us, I readily absorb ideas from every source. <laughs> ah! Dude, it's just a squirrel. Whoa! Man down, medic! Oh, that stupid rock tripped me. Wait a minute. I think Kent has found a fossil. And it could be a dinosaur fossil. It's too small. Maybe it's from a baby dinosaur. Yeah, right. Dinosaurs in New Jersey. J.D., didn't you know the very first almost complete dinosaur fossil skeleton was found in New Jersey in 1858? What's a fossil anyway? It's the preserved remains or traces of animals or plants from the remote past. In a nutshell, Nikki, they're clues of past life forms from thousands or millions of years ago. And like the movie, if we took some dinosaur DNA from my fossil, we could grow giant cows, sheep, and giant or chickens. Giant -er isn't a word. Hmm? I don't think cloning giant chickens from dinosaur DNA is real science, Kent. No, it isn't. Besides, that footprint doesn't even look like any dinosaur I've ever seen. I got it. Let's check in with Chang. Hey, Secret Lab buddies. What's up? You have dinosaur fossils in China, right? Sure do. In fact, the world's tiniest dinosaur fossil was found right here in China. The Microraptor was the size of a crow. Well, we found what may be a fossil, but don't recognize it. Do you know what it is? I have no idea. Sorry. Ah, thanks anyway. Bye, pal. Hey, guys. Maybe I discovered a new dinosaur. Let's get back to Mr. Edison's secret lab to see if this is a real dinosaur fossil. Von Bolt, bring up Mr. Edison. Yeah, that sounds like a very good idea. Commencing Edisonian projection sequence. Presenting Mr. Thomas Edison in drei und zwei und eins. Greetings, steam team. Hi. Hi there. Now, what did you all discover today? Well, we might have found a dinosaur fossil. <laughs> First, make sure it's a fossil. Then, make sure it's a dinosaur fossil. Then we're going to use it to grow a giant chicken, just like an attack of the mutant hamster. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't sound very scientific to me. And just like in the movie, we'll take the fossil and pull out the DNA, whatever that is. DNA is a molecule that has all the information about how a living thing is going to look and function. And on top of everything else, I discovered a brand new dinosaur. Hmm. I'll call it the Kentosaurus. Good thing it left its footprint for me. Left a fossil of its footprint, plus part of a bone. What the what? How did it do that? Dinosaurs had to die in just the right way to create a fossil. JD means that they had to be buried fast, so they wouldn't decay. Decompose. Rot. Imagine if dinosaurs really talked. What did I say, Martha? Let's go to the mountains. It'll be fun. But of course, no. You said, let's go swim in Mud Lake. But you like to go swimming. Uh, we swimming? This is not swimming. This is drowning. Actually, uh, we're not drowning yet. Technically, we're still sinking. Uh, really? But very soon, we are going to be drowning. And I have heard it is not very fun. Goodness, you complain a lot. We're going to die! I have a right to complain! Well, you don't hear me complaining. That's because you're a... Over a long, long time, the pieces of the dinosaur were squeezed and buried under layers of dirt and rock that piled up on top of it. How about we make our own homemade fossil? Or at least an impression like a fossil. Von Bull, one cup of wet used coffee grounds, please. Yeah, of course, Mr. J.D. Then we need a half a cup of cold coffee. 
Wait a second. I didn't finish my morning cup. Please take it. Next, a cup of flour and half a cup of salt. All these ingredients are kind of like the different minerals that are part of forming a fossil. And finally, we're gonna need one piece of waxed paper. Mix the ingredients together. <laughs> Plop the dough pieces on the wax paper. Now all we need is something to make a fossil impression. Cool, how about this stuff? Perfect. Press your item into the dough, then lift it out, leaving an impression. And then let your fossil impressions dry overnight. So, what's your next step gonna be, Angie? We can determine if Kent found a dinosaur fossil by seeing how old it is. It could be from the Triassic, the Jurassic, or even the Cretaceous period. Well, that sounds like an awful lot of work. Opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and it looks like work. Mr. Edison's right! We can find out how old the fossil is by using carbon dating. I will bring the carbon dating machine immediately. Uh, okay. Carbon dating is a kind of measurement. It's used to estimate how old something is. And that's because? Carbon is a chemical element. All living things, even dinosaurs, absorb carbon-14 while they're alive. But when they die, they stop absorbing carbon-14 and it fades away. By measuring the amount of carbon-14 that's left, in what's left of the dinosaur, we can estimate the amount of time it has been dead. In other words, how old it is. Exactly! exactly. Is that old enough? Carbon-14 dating only goes back 75,000 years, uh, but my best guess is that it's a dinosaur fossil. Let's take a look at dinosaurs that have been discovered to see if I discovered a new one. Guys, this will take way too long to figure out. Nikki, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. Mr. Edison's right. The secret lab kids never give up. We've already done the first two scientific principles, measurement and testing. Next is observation. Let's observe dinosaurs in the virtual reality room. Yeah, we can match the fossil footprint and maybe even see my dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Flip on the virtual yeah. reality window. It will make me giggle with pleasure, Miss Angie. Wait. If we see any dinosaurs, will they eat us? Kent, they're just virtual projections, not real. Besides, most dinosaurs were plant eaters anyway. Oh, okay, I guess that makes me feel better. Next up, the prehistoric dinosaur! Wow! Yeah, double wow! Okay, let's go find our dinosaur! You mean, my Kentosaurus? <laughs> Nikki, the three things that are most essential to success are common sense, hard work, and stick to itiveness. Mr. Edison's right. What if Alexander Graham Bell had quit? <gasps> we wouldn't have the telephone. Hello? What time are you coming home, Alex? I want mm -hmm. you to bring bread, cheese, milk, asparagus beers, dragon fruit, bacon. And what if Madame Curie had quit? She wouldn't have discovered radium and x rays. Beloved, please turn off that light. I am trying to sleep. What if Sir John Harrington had quit? What did he invent? We wouldn't have the flushable toilet. <laughs> okay, I get it. Let's keep looking. Look, tracks. Yay! Right there. Positive match, Kent. Yeah, just smaller. Let's go. My Kentosaurus went swimming! So, he must be amphibious, meaning he lives in and out of water. <laughs> Go ahead, Kent. Dive in and find him. Uh, I totally would, but I don't want to get water up my nose. What's that? Guys, we got company! Is that my Kentosaurus? Nope. His foot doesn't match your fossil. That's a Dryptosaurus. He's an amazingly fast hunter. We need to get a DNA sample from him. Really, Kent? Still believing that science fiction movie? Ah! Ew. Ew. 
luck. That foot matches my fossil. Most certainly. You're right. It totally matches. Wow. The Kentosaurus is awesome. Sorry, Kent. You didn't discover a new dinosaur. That's a Dinosuchus. One of the largest prehistoric crocodiles that has ever lived. Ah, let's get back to the lab. Guys, it was a virtual reality dinosaur. We weren't in any danger at all. In Attack of the Mutant Hamster, it looked so easy. The scientists just stirred up some dinosaur DNA and grew a giant rodent. Come on, dude. There's a big difference between science and science fiction. And all the best science fiction is based on real science. So, when it comes to science, always be sure to put in the hard work necessary to check all the facts. Well, it's not a total loss. <laughs> Breakfast, anyone? <laughs>